Hi everybody, my name is Sandro and I'm a researcher at the ETH Zurich and co-initiator of the Selber project. In German, Selber means self and it symbolizes for our use case how consumers become prosumers by installing rooftop solar systems and batteries in their basements. Now in many countries, solar is already the cheapest form of production and soon enough more and more people will install PV panels on their roof. Solar energy is mostly produced when you don't directly need it. And even if you have a battery, you still want to be connected to the power grid because it ensures the supply of electricity if the sun doesn't shine or if your battery is empty. And it also helps you to reject the surplus energy to the power grid and sell it to your neighbors, for example, over the blockchain. And this is exactly what I do in my research. I test, experiment and simulate how consumers and prosumers can come together in a community and exchange surplus energy over the blockchain. The blockchain is here a trustless system that doesn't require the intermediation through, for example, a utility company. In the developed world, power grids are traditionally organized in a top-down fashion. This means that the utility company routes the energy from big centralized power stations down to the households. However, the widespread transition to a decentralized energy system will also require a decentralized management system. And this can be done with the blockchain. Doing so will allow us to come up with a system that is organized from the bottom up, where energy that has been locally produced is also locally consumed. For this use case, we have just started to implement a real-world pilot here in Switzerland. But the use case is also interesting for developing countries, because non-electrified regions can be built from the beginning on as bottom-up energy systems with interconnected microgrids. This way, we can avoid to build expensive centralized power systems with expensive transmission systems. Now, the blockchain can help here in four places. First of all, it simplifies the peer-to-peer -peer exchange between neighbors without an intermediary. Second, it can help to microfinance important technology like PV panels or batteries. Third, it can help to manage the access rights and mitigate electricity theft. And fourth, it can be even used to manage flexible loads in the power grid, like batteries or fridges. If you share our vision of a bottom-up energy system, we would love to hear from you. And we thank you in advance for contributing to our use case. We hope to see you at the Hack for Climate event in Bonn this year. Thank you.